Kent Jones has long played a role in my life as a sort of comedy consultant. And one of the things that means is that sometimes when I'm reading the news and I come across a news story that I can't quite believe isn't a joke and I don't want to get duped, I ask Kent to look into it to tell me whether or not it's a joke or for real. Turns out that this story today was for real, huh, Kent? Yeah, this was on the real category there. Wow. You know, uh, conservatives sometimes get really upset about the supposed liberal bias in a book yeah. sometimes. Well, what if that book was the Bible? Oh, yeah, this there was is real. Uh -huh. okay. There's uh, there's a group that wants to give the Bible a little rewrite. Wow. Take a look. All right. Conservapedia, a conservative version of Wikipedia, has something called the Conservative Bible Project, which aims to correct what it calls errors in conveying biblical meaning. Project editors are scrubbing the Bible clean of what they consider liberal bias. Their guidelines include not emasculating the Bible, not using gender-inclusive language, not downplaying the very real existence of hell or the devil, and not dumbing down the Bible. The group was founded by Andrew Schlafly, son of Old Testament prophet Phyllis Schlafly, who once said, quote, sexual harassment on the job is not a problem for virtuous women. Um, amen? And while the Bible has always been subject to interpretation... What was that? I don't know. It's too busy talking a big nose. I think it was blessed are the cheesemakers. <laughs> What's so special about the cheesemakers? Well, obviously, it's not meant to be taken literally. It refers to any manufacturers of dairy products. The Conservative Bible Project is taking it to another level. Because after all, there's nothing in the Bible about, say, Kenyan birth certificates, but a lot of squishy, love thy neighbor as thyself kind of stuff. The project started with the Gospels of John and Mark. So far, they've replaced the words Pharisees, scribes, and the phrase die the death with elitists, intellectuals, and death penalty. Somehow the word smite was not changed to lethal injection. The project hasn't translated any of the Old Testament yet, so we can look forward to creative conservative interpretations about Noah, Moses, and Sodom and Gomorrah. Good luck with that one. As the good book says... In the beginning was the word. Well, pff, obviously that has to go. <laughs> I can't believe it's real. Oh, it's, yeah, very much so. Oh, I wish them luck. Thank you for covering that, Kent. Sure, I, I have a quick correction I need to make from last night's show. Okay. Uh, Chris Hayes from The Nation was our guest, and he said inaccurately that Congressman Mark Kirk of Illinois uh, was planning a trip to Honduras to go meet with that government that we don't recognize that right. all those Republicans are meeting with. Mm -hmm. uh, that apparently is not true. Chris says he screwed it up. And so that's why we have um, Chris Hayes tied up in the closet. In well, case you're wondering. That's what I the, saw him earlier. That's what the fumble was all day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching tonight. We will see you again tomorrow night.